Hi, second graders. We are going to be reading the book Circus. This is a book all about the circus. <clears throat> Setting up. A crew of 32 men and women, riggers, mechanics, carpenters, plumbers, and electricians. 14 acres of canvas, a hundred miles of ropes and wires, telephone lines, seven miles of electrical cables, 2,200 seats, stables, a commissary, and workshops, and all that in just under 12 hours. The Instant Circus Village. Everyone is here now except the elephants. They're coming by train tonight. The circus veterinarian, Dr. Hoffmeyer, checks out each animal carefully after their long journey. Caesar, a horse, is not feeling very well. No work for him tomorrow, says the vet. Just let him rest. And Bessie, in the next stall, is expecting any day now. She's gonna have a baby. She gets the whole month off. This is the circus laundry and the grocery on wheels. Feeding time. 250 pounds of fish, tons of hay and grains, meat and bananas, apples, carrots, and fresh fruit. Not to mention the cans of dog food, wood chips and straw for bedding, and lots and lots of water. Mr. McNulty, the owner, manager, and ringmaster, in his office trailer. Mrs. McNulty is paying bills, salaries, insurance policies, feed bills, and much, much more. This is where the Lazalos live. They are Hungarian jugglers from Budapest. Mr. Uzeli from Naples, Italy, is one of the clowns, and his wife sells tickets. The Hozumis in their trailer with Yoko and Tamo. He is an acrobat. Mrs. Hozumi stays home to teach their children for they only speak Japanese. And this is some of Yoko's homework. The Wilkinsons are from New Zealand. He is the chief electrician and she sells programs. The Dijkstra's from Holland own six poodles. Pretty crowded motorhome. This is the circus school. Six grades and Miss Knapp teaches all of them in the trailer. The older children go to school at home. Mr. Knapp drives the tractor trailer and he's also a stilt walker. And this is Mr. Knapp. Rehearsing! The first performance will be at 8 tonight. The legendary Henriquez family on the high wire. Mother, father, three sons, one daughter, and one son-in-law. They come from Spain. Mario Uzeli and his Polish partner, Filip Weinhauser, put on their makeup. Everybody else is getting into their costumes. Wow, some change. Only 20 minutes to show time. After having welcomed everyone, the ringmaster, Mr. McNulty says, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we will start with the Great Parade. Sarah Cunningham is a trick writer. Her husband George's act comes later. She's Australian and he's British. Hey, here is the horse act of Uzeli. Kind of funny. These acrobats come all the way from Japan. Ivan, the Russian bear on his bike, 
with his trainer, Vladimir Smirnov. He's Russian too. Those seals are just as good as catching fish as balancing balls on their snouts. Oh, and throwing the fish is Miss Dahl from Norway. Mr. and Mrs. Hans Sloschenberg from Germany and their six Indian elephants, Patan, Hindu, Jula, Gurkha, Sikh, and Gretchen. Gretchen? That's kind of a funny name for an Indian elephant. Big elephants sometimes leave a big mess. Plate spinning is an ancient Chinese art and these performers are from Beijing, China. George Cunningham and his wonderfully trained horses. There should have been 12, but remember Caesar and Bessie? By the way, Caesar is feeling much better today. And here we have the McNulty's son, Sean, and his hippopotamus. Standing on that barrel is all that the hippo can do, but that's pretty good for a hippo. And guess who are making fun of Sean and his hippo? The clowns. I bet you've never seen a springboard act like this one. Jack Harris, the human cannonball, sliding into the muzzle of the cannon. The gun barrel is elevated to the exact angle, and with a loud bang, bang! and a cloud of smoke, Jack is shot a hundred feet by compressed air into the safety net. Pretty daring. Not many people could equal this, but the Mirabaus know how to do it, and like so many circus acts, they're all related. They're from France. Ladies and gentlemen, bellows Mr. McNulty, it is intermission time. You can stretch your legs for half an hour, buy refreshments, and visit our stables. During the intermission is a great time to set up the iron cage with a strong net over it. This is always an exciting moment. Mr. and Mrs. Gaston from Belgium are the owners and trainers. Looks dangerous, and it is. Oh, what is inside those cages? Oh, lions and tigers, oh my goodness. Why is that small car driving into the ring? Look at the Garcias from Mexico. Just imagine the strength that that must take. Austrian Mr. Bauer takes a bow with his llamas. They have more hair than he does. So that's why the car drove into the ring. How did they ever manage to pack 11 people and a dog into a car that small? It must have been pretty tight inside. 11 people and a dog inside that small little car. That's crazy. The Dixtress Poodles are great at jumping and pushing. That dog in the baby carriage has an easy job, but they all take turns at it. The French trapeze artists are tensely waiting and warming up. They are world renowned, and some act it is.
right now you could hear a pin drop in the tent. That means it was very quiet. The Hudsons are truly fantastic with their perch pole routine. So he's climbing up this one and balancing on his head all the way on top of this pole is a person. Look at the chimps, Matilda and Reggie, balancing on their poles and in their best clothes. Kathy McDonald from Canada is their trainer. And guess who are aping around? The clowns. Many people will tell you that these are the most beautiful horses on earth, but all good things will come to an end. The horses get a big hand, yay! And so does the band, yay! And Mr. McNulty thanks everyone for coming and wishes them a good night before the grand finale. It's all over for tonight, but not for the cleanup crew. Dawn, time to move on. The elephants are on their way back to the train. The performers are driving off and in six hours, there will be no trace of the circus. But don't worry, they'll be back next year. The end.